Guys, look at this huge mess. So I just got a call from a customer who wants us to go do a job right now. It's currently 6.30 and he wants us to go get this knocked out today. It's 6.30 in the afternoon. But as you can see, I'm still in my work clothes. I just got off of work. We're gonna go over there. My dad's in the truck. I came in the car because obviously I have my, my camera gear down here to take some videos for today's job we'll see y'all out there all right guys so here we are we're at the job site now y'all see those trees back there i'll give you a little aerial view real quick and all those all that trash beside it it's all gonna go into that black dumpster right there y'all see it right there i'm gonna show you an aerial shot that black dumpster and there's a lot of stumps in the front that we have to remove but in total we charged pretty good for this job because it was like they called us kind of it was kind of a late notice it was a good charge but a lot of money's gonna go into dump fees and you know we're getting the dumpster they have to go leave that at waste management and then these trees have to go to a recycling yard and that's gonna cost a little bit too so I, it's a good it's a good job but there's always the higher paying the job the more the more and more fees you're gonna have to pay off to either people who work with you or just doing this all right so whenever we rent one of these dumpsters out as you can see we like to pound down a little bit because a lot of times there's a lot of a lot of vol not a lot of volume in there not a lot of weight but there's a lot of volume because all these, you know, this lumber kind of sticks up and out. And when it sticks up and out, it kind of takes little spaces in between the, the container. So as you can see, we pound it down a little bit to make sure we get, we get more in this load. So if we get more in the load, we're gonna have to pay less overall. So we use the excavator to pound it down a little bit. Just a little pro tip guys, if you guys do demolitions, not that we're pros, we're, we're certainly not the best. We're only like one year in business, but we're doing all right. Look at that. Look at this little guy. Look at this little operator. Look at him. Oh my goodness. He's the best. So this property that we're clearing out is not huge. It's not too small, but I'm going to put a picture up right now. It's about, I'd say six acres, but we're not, we're not clearing the whole place. We have like 10 trees to get rid of three stumps i believe and a lot of this lumber trash right here so i know i said good night but the cops just pulled up to my house so i need to check this out it's a recognized vehicle too and yeah that's my i'm gonna blur that out make sure baytown's not on there or make sure that town's not on there but yeah, I was following my dad and I just got here and this cop came inside with us. But yeah, we got the cops here, guys. It's, it's some crazy stuff. I know I said a good night, but got to take care of this cop situation first. Could be a bad cop, guys. Okay, good night. We'll see you on the morning. So guys, I'm here at the job site. It is now Saturday. So this is one of the many trees that this guy wants removed but since it's in such close proximity to the house uh we have my partner over here they're on top of the tree and taking it down from the top can't just drop that tree because it's too close to the house and also he has pavement and he doesn't want the pavement to break with the impact of the tree so they're taking it down bit by bit and they're leaving it up there in the front and we're gonna load it up ourselves about to drop this branch right here make sure i get y'all on the drone as well so y'all can see this branch fall but it's currently falling right now let's make sure we get a good view of this there it is that was the dangerous one right there 
Now, that one up there is pretty dangerous too because it's, it's pointing towards the house, but they're uh, using these lassos over here or these ropes or whatever they're called. They're using them to manipulate them while they're in the air. So once they fall, they're gonna be dragged over this way instead of going where they'd go. If you just drop them, they'd just go probably that way. But yeah, we're using the lassos or, or the ropes. I don't know why I keep calling them lassos. But it's the rope, the rope. I'm dropping this one right here. Oh my goodness, that felt hard. That's a hard fall right there, guys. All right, most dangerous branch is gone, but that one's quite dangerous still too because it's kind of pointed over this way, as y'all can see. And also the house is a little bit longer than this right here, but it just looks that way. But yeah, that one fell hard. Uh, that dangerous branch is out of the way now. Time for the next dangerous branch. Let's see if we can get it down by ourselves with the power of our own hands. I can do this. Guys, look at this huge mess. So we still had another tree in the back over here. As you can see the stump right there. And then all the trash that was around it, but my brother already piled some of it up. Uh, he's still gonna get this, these, and then he's got a big pile over there he already made. But yeah, just this tree, I believe we're gonna I don't know if we're loading it on the truck as it is. I don't think we are. At least not all of it. We're, we might load a couple of these right here, these little ones. Might load that up. This trailer is actually really strong, guys. It's instead of being 7,000 pound axles, those are 10,000 pound axles. So they, they hold a little more than that, but the, the walls are just not tall enough. But we're not going to go overboard on it. Uh, but. Yeah, we're gonna probably put just these on there, but my dad, my dad, my brother's just piling on. But yeah, my brother's just piling all this up. So tomorrow, when they arrive, when we arrive, because I'm coming tomorrow, since I don't work. So tomorrow, when we arrive, we have it all in piles, and we can just get here and take them off. There's a the stump. There goes a the stump. So tomorrow we'll get here. We'll just load all of this up probably pile it up all right here tonight so tomorrow it's just real easy to just pull the trailer up right here and just load all of it up i believe this is one of the last trees we're doing uh obviously the trunk over there at the front that we didn't finish we have to finish that and the stumps that y'all saw earlier but yeah i believe that tree over there too we're gonna have to take that with us my dad is currently back there. Y'all see the little, y'all see that right there? That's a um, a four, a, uh, a little four wheeled monster. So he's back there. I'm pretty sure he's talking to uh, Mr. Thornton. He's the owner of this place to see if Mr. Thornton maybe wants that land cleared. I'm not sure, but he might want his land cleared. So all right guys so we had a change of plans we are done for today we're not gonna go dump and everything is gonna actually stay here into two piles and he's gonna end up burning them so that's why the the trailer's not no longer on the truck and my dad's just gonna go like that he's gonna go we're gonna go home we're gonna come back tomorrow and finish up and we're gonna put everything literally everything back there into two separate piles and he's gonna burn them uh Obviously, he's going to be safe. He has machinery and all the proper equipment to turn it off if anything happens. With that being said, that's going to wrap up today's video. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, comment hashtag stay cozy to let me know you made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you for watching. That being said, see you all next time.